Okay, I'm going to show you how to build your own barometer at home for those of you who weren't able to do it in class. So here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a bowl, like a cereal bowl. This is about the best type of bowl to have, something that is solid, doesn't give way. A bowl like this, a paper one that you can bend very easily, or even these flimsy kind of plastic ones won't work. So you need something that's sturdy. Glass is okay, but you got to be careful with it, of course. So this is an ideal thing. Also, although many of you didn't even know what they were, something like a coffee can of that type of thing. Um, this is a, an okay bowl to use, but it's a little bit small, but it will probably work. All right, so you need the bowl. You need a rubber balloon, the 12 inch type. You need masking tape or some sort of tape. You need a ruler. And you need a straw, either two like regular straws you get from McDonald's or something that you can tape together and make them doubly long. Or I'm using these, which I will provide for you, these really skinny arts and crafts straws, which also have to be treated with tender loving care because they tend to break and bend very easily. And, break. Uh, and a pair of scissors. All right. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to take your balloon like this. And you're going to cut it across right below, a little bit, not right here at the very base of the neck. You need a little wider opening. You don't want to go this far down, but you're going to cut it right about there. So here I go, cutting it. And when you're done, you'll have what looks like I describe as a, a bathing cap for a doll. All right, so you take that balloon, and this is the hard part. You're going to stretch the balloon over the top of the bowl like a drum. All right, it's not that easy to do. The balloon could possibly rip, but with a little practice, it'll get easier. Okay, a lot of the balloons, after you cut them, they, some of them have this powdery in the inside. It's powdery. You're going to want to turn it inside out because the powder will make the balloon slip when you're trying it won't let it grip to the sides of the bowl or container that you're using all right so after you've turned your balloon inside out and you've got your inside out dolls bathing cap you are going to take that balloon and you're going to stretch it over the rim of your bowl so let me take care of that okay so what i try to do is I i've tried this many different methods the one that seems to work best at least when you're alone is to have the bowl sort of against yourself and you're going to work away from your body, not towards it. So you take the edge of the balloon, kind of, and again, it isn't easy. There, like that. Voila. Makes a like nice drum sound. Okay, then you take the bowl, and you get your masking tape. Take a nice big strip of it, and anchor the side of the balloon to the bowl so it won't slip off. Let me need a little bit more. All right, so now I've taped the rubber to the side. Next, you take your straw. And the first thing you're going to do if you is take your scissors and cut a nice steep angle in the straw so it becomes a pointer. So you can kind of go like this. So now it's got a point on it, see? Now I'm going to take the straw, and of course the pointy end is going to be, let me adjust this a little bit, the pointy end is going to be pointing, so you want the, the round end still to be about in the center of the drum or the you know what looks like a drum head but the the balloon and then you tape that into place i would try to tape it right up to the edge of the bowl and also take good care of the of the uh the straw not to you know bend it or break it when you're doing that okay and when you're done this is your barometer. You're finished. 
Now there's some things you're gonna do with the barometer afterwards, but that's how you actually make it. Uh, I'll show you what to do with them next. A homemade aneroid barometer, which we're going to be using to track changes in air pressure over the next two weeks, putting in our log. So here I have mine, another one that I created. And the reason you had the ruler is because you're going to put the ruler, make sure that the barometer is sit sitting on a flat surface, and then you take the ruler and on the centimeter side, you put it down like this and you see exactly what it's pointing at. In this case, it's pointing for me exactly at five centimeters. And that's what I would log for my for that day. Okay? And we understand that what's happening is air pressure that is around the bowl is going to affect how the rubber balloon on the top moves. So that if the pressure changes, the I'll show you a demonstration. You will see the the needle go up, or of course, if it gets inflated the other direction, it would go down. 